designed by Daniel Gooch, based on standard Stevenson practice. Firefly was one of the most successful, and indeed was the first standard locomotive design of the early 19th century. When the Broadgate Great Western Railway opened in 1838, Daniel Gooch had been faced with a fleet of non-standard and unreliable locomotives, and as a result had turned to Stevenson's to build North Star and its later sisters to solve this motive power crisis. In order to start services from London to Bristol in 1841, Gooch designed a standard passenger locomotive. The new design, the Firefly class, was essentially an updated version of North Star. Whereas earlier railways like the Liverpool and Manchester had issued a broad specification to locomotive manufacturers and let them to work out the fine detail, Gooch specified everything. Detailed written specifications were issued accompanied by drawings and templates to ensure every locomotive was built to the same design and to ensure that all parts were interchangeable with standard components used between each locomotive thus produced. 62 members of the class were built by seven different firms between 1840 and 1842. The best of them were built by Fenton, Murray and Jackson of Leeds, however. Firefly, the class progenitor, was built by Jones, Turner and Evans of the Viaduct Foundry at Newton Le Willows. One of this class, the Phlegathon, which had been built in Leeds, worked the first royal train on the 13th of June 1842, carrying Queen Victoria and Prince Albert from Slough to Paddington Station in London. The train left at 12 noon precisely and was driven by Daniel Gooch in person. Brunel, of course, was also on the footplate. Firefly had a 50 psi boiler with a tall Gothic or Arc de Clacre firebox. There were 131 2 inch or 51 millimeter boiler tubes. The inside cylinders measured 15 by 18 inches or 381 millimetres bore by 457 millimetres stroke. The driving wheels were a whopping 7 feet or 2.1 metres in diameter. The driving wheels were fire welded from individual wrought iron components. The end of each offset spoke being forged to make a section of the rim. Gab valve gear with upward facing gabs was used to work the valves. Weight in working order was in the area of 24 and 30 tons. On its first recorded run, Firefly reached a maximum speed of 58 miles per hour or 93 kilometers per hour, falling three passenger carriages. The Firefly class as a whole had a working life of 25 to 30 years, the last example being withdrawn as late as 1879 and all of them were scrapped. A full-size working replica of Firefly was begun in 1982, but was not completed until 2004. It made its public debut in 2005, working on the short stretch of broad gauge demonstration line at the Didcot Railway Centre. Sadly, its boiler certificate expired after 10 years in 2014, and Firefly is currently a static exhibit. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell. If you would like to get early access to Rail Story content, you can do so via Patreon and Ko-fi. And I'd like to shout out to Station Master Tier patrons Joshua Anderson and Gian Uberto Lore. And also welcome aboard Matthew Richeza as a Station Master Patron. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.